What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Nier Automata. We got our friend, the moose here, who just loves chasing us around <laughs> the Nier Automata world. I love you, guy. You're so cute. You and your, your gigantic goatee. Uh, anyway, so we're here in the desert. We're going to chat to Jackass. She's apparently got a fish for us. And yeah, after that, I guess we're going to proceed with the main quest. Uh, oh, yeah, I still have to give you that stupid fish. So... This thing is called a mackerel, and apparently eating it has a horrible effect on androids. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd love to see what it does, so go ahead and chow down. Don't blame me if you die, though. Wow. Um, okay, jackass. You're literally being a jackass. Let's, uh... Is this gonna kill us? Is this gonna... What is this gonna do? Where... Where is, a uh, Codfish. Mackerel. What in the sea can be exchanged for money? Use. What? What? Having consumed the mackerel, it didn't take long for the android's bodily fluids to congeal. Muscle rigidity and paralysis soon followed. It was good though, the android thought his consciousness faded. Exquisite even. No wonder humans used to eat them. Oh, wow. Ajiwo Kuta. I don't know what that means. I assume that's Japanese. So that's ending K. Wow. Wow, what a joke ending. Is that legitimately a quest? Am I supposed to do something with that? Oh, I'm very confused. <laughs> we're, we're racking up the endings, guys. I don't know how I'm being so lucky with this, but... <laughs> Apparently, some of these you just stumble upon. Really? Is that... Like, how am I supposed to finish the quest, then? Very confusing. No, I don't want to be here. Let's... Let's... Uh, let's go chat to Jackass again. I'm... Hmm. I'd be very confused. There's got to be, um... <laughs> There's got to be a explanation for this. Do we chat to her again and just say we're not doing it this time? Because I don't want to die. You're crazy, jackass. You're crazy. Let's see if our friend the moose is there again. He must have watched us die and just been like, wow. Oh, he's not even here because... He oh, he is here. He, he always comes to greet us. He's like, hey, you're alive. Okay, seriously, jackass. I'm not eating that mackerel. You know what? You can eat it. Thanks for the help. You know, I've been thinking about something lately. Maybe I should look into it. Oh. You should. You're going to tell me what that is? I guess not. Uh, thanks to you, I have a decent lineup of products. Want to do business? I'm just checking you got nothing useful. And you got nothing useful. Okay, Jackass, I don't know what your story is, but that fish, I'm not using it. So, let's let's travel over to Pascal's village and actually start the main quest. Make some progress. Even the music was like, oh, don't eat this mackerel, it's going to kill you. Memory unit green. What do other colors mean? I guess green means it's good. So what, orange would mean compromised and red would mean useless? All systems green? Interesting way of categorizing it. Okay, uh... Tool shop machine. It's good to see in one piece. Just again, checking not to... Okay, we gotta track down uh, Pascal. I think he's upstairs. Um. Oh, it's nine after two. <laughs> She's just standing on the roof. Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Of course, I'll help however I can. Oh, we already asked about all of this. Yeah, we've had this conversation. Yes, 
Scal. Yes, Tubi? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? <laughs> I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... It... Yeah, there's our next quest. Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Oh, we can do this quite easily. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. We can do this really easily. So let's let's do that. <laughs> Which just want to whoa, I want to check the map just to confirm. Uh, what they mean is we need to exit the side and cross the bridge. Very easy to do. So let's head straight in that direction. Oh, it's so good to be making progress again. I'm excited. Oh, don't trip down the stairs, 9S. Would not be good for us or for you. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me 9s? 9S works just fine. Come well, on. Yeah, but... Okay, I guess she's she's got a heart of, of stone. <laughs> Come on, I call it... Well, I don't actually call him 9s. I should call him 9s more often. You know what? I'm gonna call him Nines from now on. Cause Nines really suits him much better than, than Nines. He's just so cool. I love him so much. All right, now last time we came across here, we didn't explore properly. So we're gonna do exactly that. We've only been here once, really. Uh, aside from that time I nearly died. Whoa, hello. You guys have spears? Where's the big giant guy? Last time I was here, there was a giant guy who wanted to kill us. But let's uh, let's collect all the hidden collectibles. It's so cool being here in these ruins. It it looks like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like um, ah, oh, what's that that mission in Call of Duty where it's like Chernobyl almost? Reminds me of that. A lot. <laughs> okay, there's a chest here somewhere. There it is. All right, let's hack it open. Department store flyer. We're getting all kinds of old world intel. I feel like that's basically all ni nines is good for is finding these these intel things. Oh, there it is. Tokyo department store going out of business sale. After 25 glorious years of serving our loyal customers, it is with a heavy heart that we announce our last day of business will be on March 31st. Beginning on March 1st, uh, we'll be slashing prices on everything in the entire store. Additionally, we'll be opening our doors one hour earlier throughout the entire month. We eagerly await your visit and thank you again for your years of patronage. Bring this fly with you to receive a free pack of tissues. <laughs> oh man, that's so sad. Free pack of tissues. <laughs> This must be the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. Shopping mall? Yeah, it does look like it. I I know we've been here before, but it's been ages, so I can't I even forgot that little fact. Why are there these little mysterious flowers everywhere? Are we ever going to get an answer about that? I'm just running around to make sure I don't miss anything. So presumably we would need to go through this door, but it seems to be locked. Whoop. Crystal obtained. Here's a chest. There we go. I knew there was something that we had to come back for from the last time. F 
full recovery. Oh yeah, that is useful. Very useful. We must have so many hit points now that we're basically level 50. That's crazy. No getting through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? How about we kill the machines that are going to come for us now? If I remember correctly, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> I thought this, like, I was like, what? If we were Is human, there a secret level? We probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. Great. All hail the forest king. All hail the who the heck is the forest king? You're getting this. He's a little baby well, what do you that, expect? that we I'm end up scared. killing later. If you're weird about it, meant to be my forte. <laughs> is it me or is the combat? Is the the dialogue actually slightly different? I don't remember that being the case. This guy's just gonna stand there. Check this guy. He's just running away. Oh yeah, this is that weird uh, cutscene we get. Yeah, this was creepy. I remember this. So weird. Huh? Hey, where am I? Um, what's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? Is this really like a little joker this baby? This seems weird, to be. Let's kill it. Wait, what? Nice. No, that's a good idea. No! <laughs> okay, what was that? Nines, that was a terrible idea. Why did you think that was a good idea? Why? It's not smart to go killing... Like, choker babies. That's just asking for trouble. Why would you think that's a good idea? Okay, I was just checking that there is nothing up here that we could miss. And I'm glad I was not wrong. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's uh, head through here now that this has been knocked open. And we're gonna be in the forest kingdom now. Looks like the forest is just ahead. Oh, I remember the first time we came here it was so exciting because we'd not been to a new place for ages. I'm getting that feeling again, like, wow, new place to explore. I'm so excited. <laughs> and this time we're gonna get all the side quests. We're not gonna rush through it unnecessarily. Here they come. Better keep your guard up. <laughs> I'm aware of how to fight. <laughs> you just be careful. I Long live be. the king. Why you guys think you can actually hurt us? Like, we're just too good for you. Okay, one of you got like a, a, a hit in, but you were just lucky. Too easy! Whoa! Six years ago, what is happening? I love these little extra bits of story. It is hot, humid, unhygienic, a punishing hell for machine life forms. None should have to live in such a place. Does that kind of thing matter to you guys? How does humidity matter to you? I have decided I shall make this our kingdom and declare our independence. But you hated it. You just said it's hot and humid. Um, what's a kingdom? <laughs> Adorable. Well, it's sort of like a large house. Yes, and that's very accurate. House, all our people live together as family. But one of you is the father, everyone else is the babies. <laughs> oh. I suppose a family might be good. Oh, they all yeah. just want a family. Families are good. He 
these little touches, guys. I love the fact that when you're retreading like all these story moments, they don't keep them the same. They add all these like little touches that just make it interesting. It's such a nice touch. It seriously adds to the the these machines. They were talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. I love that they they add these touches because it seriously fleshes out the world and it keeps you from being bored having to like repeat the same story. Not that I'm bored, but you know, I can imagine that if they weren't these things, I uh, and you've played this game a million times, it might get a bit boring without these extra touches. Honestly, this is the kind of thing that makes me want to, after I'm done with this Let's Play series, just replay it all again, because I want to catch all the little details that I missed. You know? Oh, it's just, it's so cool. I love this game. Okie dokie. So there's a transfer point around the corner. And there's the pigs again. And our moosey friend, he's always waiting for us here. I wonder if he's placed there strategically so that um, he, you can ride him as soon as you get out. It does make me wonder. All right, let's have a careful look around. I don't want to miss anything. So just looking at the map, the big thing we have to worry about is the photographs. And then there's something here at the far end of the cavern, or the whatever this is. Uh, just triple checking. I think this is just the Trial of Sand that's on our map, yeah. Um, and then we have something up here and a mysterious letter over there. And we basically don't want to miss any other stuff in this area if we can, because we missed a lot the last time. Okay, I do see that there is an... Uh, wait, we couldn't pick this up. It's an iron ore. Yeah, okay. I'm just being like, super careful not to miss anything because I did miss stuff last time and I don't want to repeat that. Okay, let's head up. Uh, whoa. Through here. <laughs> I was like, how do we get there? The map is telling me I can go there, but the, the real world is disagreeing with it. <laughs> and obviously the real world is the ultimate authority on these things. Looks like the freak shows in town. Nines, you're so mean. What is happening? Is 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 TB rubbing off on you? <laughs> Woo. Wasn't too bad. I don't know if it's just because, like, maybe I, after all the side questing, I'm a bit over leveled. I don't know, but I feel like the side quests don't give you a lot of experience, so doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's maybe I'm just getting better at the game, and I'm not admitting it to myself. Okay, uh, what is the most efficient way to do this? Uh, Let's think about it. We could go around the back and then around the front. That doesn't make sense. Uh, let's head down and around in the very rough direction. Absolutely. Uh, of course, that won't succeed if we are your foes, so good luck with that. Now, there's something in there, and I can't seem to get to it. Maybe I have to come around from up here. Seems to be the case. Yes. Hello, Moosey. Good to see you. We're just passing through for a, a chest that happens to be here. Amber. And there is also a collectible here. Brilliant. All right, let's let's actually deal with these guys now. Wow. 
Uh, I can't control my cam anymore. Okay, there we go. I love this music, guys. It's so cool. with these guys. Don't listen to what they're saying to me. One day, Nines, you're going to get a whole new perspective on this. <laughs> Literally going to see things from their perspective. That day will come. And when it does, you're going to regret being so mean to these guys. Oh, he literally was going to headbutt the ground. <laughs> How is the music in this game so good? I actually need to get a hold of the soundtrack. I always love listening to soundtracks. Uh, for all kinds of games, I've been lately listening to um, the StarCraft soundtrack a lot. One and two. Excellent game. Um, and so I need to I need to get this one. I've also been listening to the Final Fantasy soundtracks, but that's not a surprise. We know how much I, I am enjoying Final Fantasy <laughs> and how good the music is. It doesn't matter if you've even played them. You can enjoy the music anyway. So we should get a photograph here somewhere. Okay. There we go. That's all the coordinates that resistance member wanted. Beautiful. I'll be honest though, I don't quite get why she cares about these particular photos. Everyone has we'll memories that are precious for one reason or another. It's not for yeah. us to judge their value. They're important to her. That's all we need to know. We yeah, will find out, we will. All right, time to take out these guys. Woo! That guy was really going at it. To be hits way harder than we do it. I think I think when she gets in there, she just finishes these guys off. Which I'm I'm glad for, but <laughs> uh can be a bit frustrating. Uh because then you can't tell like if if they they're just dying randomly or if there's a reason. Okay, uh we are heading down this way because there's definitely someone at the end of this river. But aside from that, there's also something up there and I don't know how to get to it. But we will find out. Oh, it's under here. Wow, that's even weirder. Is this one of those... Another one of those flowers? Guys, what is going on with these flowers? What is it? I'm so confused. Dragoon Lance. That sounds really cool. Weapons. I want to see this Dragoon Lance. Whoa! That looks like a really big weapon. How are you, how, how are you supposed to fight with that? It's crazy. Still think Virtuous Dignity looks really cool. Honestly, all the weapons in this game just look so cool, but nothing, nothing beats the Phoenix Sword. Which is perhaps why I'm sticking with it. I feel like maybe it's a bit boring, but... It gets the job done so well, why would you change it? There is an item over here somewhere. Pick up. There we go. If I can get to it. <laughs> and if I even want to pick it up. That castle. Good question. But aside from that, there's also something on the map here. Right. Down there. Am I just supposed to jump down there? This seems like a bad idea. All right. I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Why did I do this? 
<laughs> I knew that was a terrible idea. But I can see where we need to get to. So I just need to get all the way across there. We can do this if I just go in one fluid mo movement, we can do this. I might have to do like a move at the end to get us there. There we go. Whoa, let's not kill the quest giver. What the heck is this? Canyon machine? Oh, you're androids, yes? Then you must be here to kill me. Um, I'm not, I'm not with your hair really in my heart. <laughs> I've lived long enough. I only ask that you may not make it too painful. No, I'm gonna spare you. Why'd you not strike? Because I'm I'm tired of doing what Yorha wants me to do. Because you we bro, oh, because you have no desire to fight, that's true. You're like the machines in Pascal's village. If you don't attempt to harm us, we have no cause for quarrel. True. You know Pascal? I see. Still, you should be careful. Of what? Some of our kind can be violent. They're beyond our control. We know this. They attack everything they see, be it friend or foe. Many of these machines are waiting in the canyon ahead. Oh. You would be wise to keep your distance. Lord of the Valley accepted. Machines oh, this is such a cool cyclist to stumble upon. Proposal. Unit 2B should eliminate the hostile machines. This is so cool. Many of these machines are waiting in the canyon ahead. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> I can't believe we're just doing this quest. That's so cool. Wow. We actually came here by pure fluke. Or fluke. Just following the map. Wow, it is so dark. I see him. I see him. Where are we on the map? Whoa, guys, this is so cool. Look at this. We could have dropped down here any time and I had no idea we could do that. That is such a cool thing to stumble upon. All right. Oh, look at them. They're level 37. They're, they're no match for us. I was terrified these guys would be like level 50 or something. Oopsie daisy. Try to learn to dodge. It's so easy to forget as well. Now, interesting, where does that door lead? What do the cogs do when you pick them up? They, they're G, I guess. What is through here? This is so curious. Huh. Because the quest is obviously further down that way. Whoa, no, no, no. Don't close without me. I want to know where this leads. Hmm. <coughs> I assume this is taking us out of the valley. Hello. Oh, hello, we've come full circle. Look at that. Okay, but we're not going to do that. We're going to carry on with our quest. Oh, wait, what's the way down? It's this way. Yeah, we're going to we're going to carry on. We're going to find the Lord of this valley <laughs> and find out what the heck is going on down here. This is so cool. I love that there's like these little tiny details hiding in the world. And if you if that thing wasn't on the map, I never would have found this. So, you know, people who complain about mini maps and like how they give things away, to be honest, like this is a perfect example of why these things are useful because if you don't have them, there's no way that you would even know to look down here. So I'm grateful for it in this circumstance. Did I see something moving up there? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting paranoid. This is kind of spooky, actually. Whoa. What the heck? There's so much rubble here. What's going on? I love how we literally kick chests open. So dramatic. Look at all the corpses. I know, it's scary. Is this some kind of graveyard? Feels like it. 
<laughs> just throw away the iron ore. Dig through the bodies and then throw it away. So disrespectful. <laughs> Tree seed. We do need more of those. All right, we're going for a swim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if there are any rare fish down here. I will be tempted to find out, I guess. But uh, let's open all these chests first. Phoenix dagger! Because we got the phoenix sword. This phoenix, phoenix dagger better, better be on the same level. A ritual item made from the plume of a phoenix. It literally matches. But it's not going to do anywhere near the same amount of damage. But that is so cool. I love that there's so many cool weapons out here and you just don't even know about it. Weapon shop flyer. Okay, so many little interesting details. Thanks for stopping by. Accords is a thriving chain of weapon stores with over 140 locations across the world. We feature a fantastic selection of goods, including swords that match the regional features and squads of each country. In addition to newly developed equipment, we are technologically unrivaled when it comes to taking ancient blades and making them ready for use again. We proudly invite you to explore the wide variety of weaponry born of this skillful handiwork and an extraordinary passion of our founder, Accord. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to serving you in the future. Okay, so this is where all of our weapons come from. Look at that. I mean, we can literally recognize weapons there. That's cool. But now, let's They're deal with these alive. guys. I'm on it. All right, I bet you the Lord of the Valley's gonna appear. There he is. Whoa, he's got swords in him. What's it saying? Don't listen to it, Two Page. Oh, he's level fifty. Wow, he's like a full-on boss. Jeepers! The fact that he wants us to kill him as well is so sad. What is he doing down here? Is this like the... It, he looks like the original king of the, the forest. Was he like usurped or something? Is he sort of sword stabbed into him? It must be. You know what? Let's hack him, see if that will speed up the process, because he's got a lot of health. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, jeepers. Wow! That was, that was close. Yeah, it does so much more damage. Hacking is the way to go with 9S, it seems. I must just remember not to hit the walls by mistake. Alright, there we go! We killed him as per his request. What was with that thing? It was talking. Maybe that machine who sent us here knows something about this. We should try asking her. I wonder if this was a setup. She just wanted us to kill him. It's so suspicious, to be honest. And there's just like dead androids lying here as well. All right, let's let's fish quickly, just because I'm wondering if there's any rare fish down here. They probably. Whoa! I have to aim at the the, the place I want him to fish. There's probably just going to be random fish here. Yeah. Success. What did we catch? Carp machine. Carp machine? Interesting. A machine that looks like a fish? Report. 
success. Another carp machine. So it seems like maybe there's just one type of fish per location. Would make sense, I guess. They wouldn't want to like make it this huge fetch, fetch quest where you have to catch many one fishes. Whoa, that's a big guy. Koi carp. What oh, is a fish encyclopedia? That's interesting. Let's uh have a look at this. Can be exchanged for money. An aquatic machine. All of these exchange for money. Okay. Hang on. Fish encyclopedia. So that's going to be under Intel. It's got to be. 7%. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff written about this. But... 7%. There's a lot of fish, fish to find. I don't know if I want to find them all. Seems like a lot of effort. Okay, let's... Let's report back to this other machine, see if they have anything useful to tell us that might explain what's just been going on. I suspect it was the original king, because now we just have that child king that we're going to end up having to take out. We're also going to find that other android, and I want to know who she is! Oh, it's you again! Do you have a question about the machines in the canyon? Yeah, please give us something useful. Yes, very dangerous. You should avoid them. Actually, we already took care of them. You... what? I see. Then perhaps they can finally reach heaven. Oh, you believe in heaven? Okay. Come again. Many machines have thrown themselves into that canyon of late. They were trying to hurt themselves beyond repair. You found the remains of those who succeeded and fought those who did not. I know not what would drive them to do such a thing. But I pray regardless that their souls might reach heaven. Wow. This got deep. Yeah. A gift for you. Thank you for killing them. Clean nut, last stand, memory alloy, vengeance taunt. Just a bunch of useful items, I guess. Wow. That got heavy. Even the music is like, damn! Did we just go there? We just like, we just talked about suicide. What? It's you, isn't it? Thanks to your efforts, I can live here in peace once more. If you like, I can fuse plug in chips for you. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Do you have anything useful? That it'd be great if you have something super cool. Um, ten percent chance that twenty percent of damage taken is dealt back to the enemy. Slow time for however many seconds. We have a lot of these. Yeah, we got a lot of these. There's no point. We have too much money on our hands as well. So souls in heaven, huh? Do either of those things exist? Come on, They'll don't be skeptical. In the end. <laughs> They'll find out in the end too. Be. <laughs> Okay, that's grim. <laughs> Wait, I we can't climb up? Okay, we can. I was wondering what's going on. 2B, that was seriously grim, man. <laughs> They'll find out in the end. We will too. <laughs> Power up part M. Part M? Uh, is this a key item? No. Material? Oh, here we go. Use this to make your pod stronger, use this to make your pod stronger. So you only got a few of these. And you probably need them for crafting is what it's saying. Wait, we could have run down here and the I was just jumping like hoping I'd make it. How are you supposed to find this path? Like, pure chance. Seems like it. Yeah, you're just supposed to find this by luck. Whoa! We could have just run through there and followed the path, but there's no way I would have seen it. Alright, let's have a, a look at what we got left and where the nearest save is. Um, because we don't have enough time to carry on. So we'll head towards the next save and once you've done that, we will, uh, I guess, we dealt with all of these guys. Then we'll call it quits for today, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we did make some progress. We've come now to the Forest Kingdom 
And we found that amazing side quest down at the, the bottom of the valley, but uh, we still need to actually go find the Forest King himself. Why are you charging at me? That's just mean. Um, <laughs> so we need to go to the the um, kingdom itself and deal with the king. We also have to hand in the photographs quest, so we might do that beforehand because I'm so nervous about losing side quests because you ran out of time because that happened last time. I don't want to repeat that. So, yeah. Really cool stuff. I love the fi the stuff we're finding. It's like you can just feel. You can just feel that we're getting closer and closer to that point where everything starts to come together and all things start to get revealed. You can just start to feel it. So I'm so excited, ladies and gentlemen. We're nearly there. Catch you next time on Neotomata. Until then, stay safe. Bye for now.